back to tutorial days and in this video you are learning CRUD operation that means insert update delete uh, using react js and php mysql in the last video last two videos we have uh, covered how to insert the data uh, from react js to and this php uh, mysql through php to mysql database in this section we will display this data into here in the view section okay so first let's open our list student this page and let's create here that section so let's write here div okay then empty container once again we will have to apply here div and div on a wrapper here so class class name what uh, class name row okay inside this we we'll write here div md so class name call md so first name last name email and edit delete so we will write here six okay two call md two so first name last name email then edit and delete so one more we can write here for showing the number maybe here so here will be first name last name last name email and then update and here delete and same this row we we'll just copy here and we will look through the data so that we can show the record Let's go to the browser and you can see our data will show here right okay so now let's uh, write some code here First thing that we need to import here, uh, so these are things we are going to the axios because we will need this to fetch the data and use state also. So right here const then uh, once again student then set student okay and here use state then inside this we will pass empty array and here we will write use effect use effect and then here uh, once again function and then arrow function this then this and we will call here load users which we will define later here so const load users equals to then uh, this one okay so the data through axios we will call and it will load here and as you know that we will pass here if you don't know about huge effect then we have separate video uh, regarding this uh, so in case if you have any confusion that how this huge effect works please check back my uh, other video previous video which i have separately recorded for especially for this and here we will write a sync as you know that a sync is used for uh, so getting asynchronous data and here we will write const result await then axios dot get and we will create here view dot php file for getting the result and ultimately it will load here the data and this is the data this is for uh, and here of course will be get method not post okay and you can see 
it is very simple if you know php then select start from registration table so everything will be selected from there and then fetch array so this is first name the json format we will send it to uh, um, react yes okay so first name first name last name last name then email email so simple it will uh, generate the data in json format so if you want then you can check from browser also like this yes you can see the data is coming in json format right we have two records so this is coming in json format so the same data this one we will display here in react.js now the same data is coming here in region so let's check here by just writing console.log console.log and then this result so we will check if the data is coming or not so let's go here and refresh and control shift i to check console invalid class yes you can see there is data and inside data uh, the result is also coming here so here two records are coming you can see here right so what we have done here we have sent here the data in json format now we will run here this loop so student dot map dot student index so and here we will close it first one two and one curly braces okay and here in this row we will write here i or index for showing there this is and this one for first name we will write here student dot first name and before that <coughs> we have to set student here right that means we will update this through this function okay so whatever data is coming here this records why we have written their records because you can see records okay and after that there is call of that means inside this there is value that is why we have written here result dot data dot so result dot data is fixed but inside this records then we can check here the value should come so now yes you can see the value is coming umar rajesh because we have given here only well, first name last name and in index it is start from zero so so this result actually we are passing here and getting updating uh, this and finally when uh, the page loads with huge effect it loads once and if we want to start from then you can see it is one two record and here also we can write here serial number serial number okay so it's showing one two three and rest of the records we can also call here first name last name email email last name and here a link here we will pass link class name then to add it and then student.id so it will take student id and it will pass here 
so let's check here so it will be like this mm. yes you can see here this is added and the data will pass something like this like this so edit and then id number three for example if you first three then this four so when we click this it will go to this page since we have not created this edit page but at least you can see we it is navigating to that page similarly we will create this delete button and you might be wondering why we have written here edit because in our app.js oh so it will be actually edit student not edit okay edit student then student.id so yeah edit student so we are going to this page but we will have the form later here but at least you can see we are navigating to the right page now so now the next task is to work on uh, delete then we will work on this edit and update okay so now let's write here the button for delete as well here in this case and in case of delete here you can see when we will click on this delete then a function will be called which is delete user and this function we will create here const delete sorry delete user then here not like this const delete user this and then here and here we will pass parameter so that id or e whatever and inside this we will write axios delete and we will pass this url delete.php and here we will pass this as a parameter and uh, then result <coughs> And here after deleting this will load users else if there is any error then this actually dot catch here Here we will <coughs> need this and a lot error in the code or unable to delete whatever message you want to display here. So that's it. Now let's go to this page and check. So let's delete this error in the code. Okay, why? Because we have not created the delete page so far so here let's create one new page called delete.php uh, php rest php mysql simple crud php mysql student crud this one is so let's write here delete.php and inside this this code will be there so as you can see up to here it's everything is same and uh, here the method will be delete and here the JSON data is coming and then we are connected to database delete from student no registration our table name registration registration delete from registration where ID equals to this data ID and finally the data will be deleted from here so let's check now 
let's go here and try if you click delete yes the data is deleted successfully if you want to check refresh it and you can see there is only one once again if you delete the data is successfully deleted and there is no any recording this so guys as you can see we have successfully done so far you know insert add new student insert again add add it and delete view list so up to here we have successfully worked and in the last section we will work on this edit part so in this video that's it let's in this section that's it in the next section i will show you how to this do this delete so let's meet in the next video thank you for watching